Hey guys, welcome in. Thanks for coming into Cultivated Cocktails. We're interested in doing a tasting? Yes, yes. All right. absolutely. We're gonna go down the line today. I'm gonna start you guys off with our first product, which is a rum. It was our first product and it is aged. So we did make this over a period of time. When we opened our doors, we had already been in existence for quite a while as we aged this. You will taste two different types of oak. It is a French oak and a new American. One is charred and one is toasted. So both of those blend together to make a very whiskey profile for the rum. We don't add any sugars back and we don't spice it. So what you're gonna drink there is what I like to call a rum ski. I'm gonna coin that one day. And it is 80 proof. So enjoy that. Take your time. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. What, what are the good. oaks you said? It is a French oak and a new American oak. Nice. All it's right. very smooth. Yeah, that's good. Good. Yes, Thank I you. really enjoy the rum a lot. All right. The next thing we're going to try is a gin. Do not be afraid. If you do not like gin, we call this a gateway gin. You're going to love it. So this is 90 proof. We're going to bump you up just a little bit. There are nine different botanicals in this. So you're first going to have a lemon, lime, orange, grapefruit flavor profile. And then you're going to get a little bit of coriander, cardamom, and juniper berry. And then angelica root and cassia to end. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. So it's not all juniper. It's not all juniper. We didn't really want a Christmas tree to the face gin. Although it is still pretty dry for what it is. It is an American style gin, but it is pretty dry. Okay. It smells delicious. I like that a lot. Oh, that's good. really, really good. nice. Yay. Yeah, that's great. That is not juniper Very in the smooth. Face. No, it's great. Oh. What we don't have today, unfortunately, is our Shades of Rosé gin, and that gin is the same gin. We just take it and rest it in red wine barrels from Tanglewood area. Uh, that is a, dis or a winery out there. Okay. So we really enjoy that. It isn't seasonal, but it is aged, so we don't always yeah. have it. I can taste the citrus in that gin. Good. Yeah, that was really good. That's like a great like gin and tonic gin. Yeah. Easy. All right. We're going to move on to our vodka. This vodka is corn based and it is also filtered through a filter that we ordered directly from Russia, custom made for our still. So it is silver impregnated carbon filter. No one knows vodka like the Russians. So here we are. And this is also aerated a little bit with the mountain air as well. So okay. the theory behind that is the old. Um, porches, they call those breathing porches, that people would send people here to the mountains to kind of get better and relax and sit out on a breathing porch. And so this is where we've infused our uh, vodka with this mountain air as well. Vodka is supposed to be tasteless, colorless, and odorless. This nails that. Perfect. I Go like for it. it. Can't smell anything. Perfect. That's really good. I love vodka. That's really good. Yay! See, I've never, I, I never understood like, why do you shoot vodka until yeah. I tasted this, That's and I was really like, okay, sweet. maybe I did it wrong in college. It's I get fine. It. Yeah. No, that was really good. All right. So now we have our creme de cacao. So this is taking you guys down to a little bit of a sweeter, more syrupy road. We use a Nicaraguan cacao nib with this, which is actually derived from our local French chocolate lounge. So this is a collaboration between us and them. Um, it is going to be much sweeter. By definition, liqueurs have to have a percentage of sugar in them to be a liqueur. So there's where we are with these. This particular one, it goes down a little easy and it feels a little boozier to me, but everyone is just slightly different because we can't quite proof it with the sugar content. We have to send it off have it tested every time. Try to hit somewhere between 45 and 55, and this one's 53, so lucky you guys. <laughs> 53. Sweet. Got the upper end of that. Smells good. Mm. I like that a lot. Good. Mm. It's good follow from the vodka. It's yes. like dessert. Well, no, next is dessert. Oh, next is dessert. So, it's not too sweet. That's it's really good. The coffee liqueur. The coffee liqueur is a family recipe. This has been put in our stockings for years now by Grandmama. Um, she used to call it Grandmama's Kahlua. We call it Asheville Coffee Liqueur. The only thing that we changed in this recipe were the caliber of the ingredients. So, essentially, we are not using vodka from the ABC store. Well, we are now because we're using our vodka, yeah. but we, we are using a higher caliber of vodka for this. And it is a vodka base, not a rum base. Normal coffee liqueurs are rum base. Grandmama used a vodka, 
We use vodka. Um, there is a vanilla from Bourbon Madagascar in there, so if you know much about that, um, Bourbon Madagascar vanilla is literally patrolled by like a bunch of people with high caliber things because it's very valuable there. So that is in there as well as a lot of sugar and a very, very dark roast coffee. So that's going to be a, a really incredible prevalent flavor. It is caffeinated. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Here we go. It smells delicious. Mm. And that's a fan favorite for sure. Love that. That's so good. That's delicious. That's a dessert for sure. Perfect. Mm. All right. Well, thank you guys. Do you have a favorite? Oh. Whichever one was in front of me. <laughs> I love no, no. the vodka and the coffee. Before. I like the rum. Oh, yeah. Well, good. Yeah. The gin was great too. So there you go. Yeah, they were all they're all available. Okay. So if I wanted to purchase this, where do you sell it? Where can I buy this? So you can purchase this here at the distillery. You can also produce do it at our production facility um, and then you can also get them in ABC stores in North Carolina. We have about an 86% saturation across the state for ABC stores. You can always request it if you don't see it. And then also we ship uh, through a distribution company to 38 states. So if you are living in one of those 38 states, you can have your product shipped to you as well. And how do we, where do we order that? You can do it online um, through our website. We'll take you to the shipping and the distribution or you can let us know that you want to buy one here if that's something you're interested in. What are some of the most popular drinks with the rum? Um, some of the most popular drinks with our rum, definitely our rum old-fashioned. We always have the rum. Um, we don't always have our whiskey, and our whiskey usually sells out within 30 days, so we keep the old-fashioned on the menu with the rum. Um, so we'll change it seasonally, but typically it's your standard old-fashioned, and people really enjoy it. Okay. What would you say is the most popular drink across the board? The most popular cocktail is the fire and ice. We cannot seem to take it off the menu. Um, and it does not It does not include uh, the rum. It is actually our Shades of Rose Gin. Gotcha. And it is a um, spicy cocktail, obviously. But a little bit, it goes away really quickly. So people really enjoy that. One of the things that it uses is a um, shrub made in North Carolina. So we really enjoy using those North Carolina products. And they are in Raleigh and it's a cucumber mint shrub and it's delicious. Nice. Thank you guys for coming in and I really appreciate you taking the time to taste all of our products. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to let me know. We will, thank, thank you. you. They're delicious. Good.